Okay, and welcome back to Hot Package. Uh, our next figure in this series is going to be this Star Trek, the original series, Bele, or Bell, or Bele, I don't know. This figure from the original Star Trek series. Um, I'm not familiar with this episode too much. I do remember it being about like race relations or something. This character having both black and white skin being the last of his race. Um, a race called, there's some stats back there. It was a race called the Lokai um, and its home world is Cheron. Uh, but I remember in this particular episode with this figure, there was like a, a racial theme, socially, socially forward theme um, that dealt with race. And this is back in late 60s. So I'm sure America definitely needed it at the time. Um, but without further ado, let's break this this guy out of his package. He seems to be packing some cool accessories in the back, a stand, and it looks like quite a bit of articulation. Um, so let's check him out. Let's toss him to that aside. All right, here's the figure. He's kind of jostled. He's a bit jostled. Um, pretty cool so I'll take the figure out first here unwind this plastic right quick Ooh. and yank him out of there very cool very cool um, there's the man Belay doing his thing whatever that may be Definitely a nicely made figure. This is a Playmates figure from, what year is this? Good Lord. Okay. This is a figure from around 1998. So this looks like it's, um, you know, a reissue of older characters and concepts and stuff throughout the entire Star Trek universe. Um, I've yet to actually see this episode, but I'll have to check it out um, for sure. Uh, I really like this figure. It's got bends at the elbows. It's got pretty good articulation overall. You know, for I used to love nine inch, ten inch, and twelve inch figures that were like this. You know, they had a lot of life to them. Um, I very much doubt that Belay was <laughs> a fighter as much as I'm posing them in this fight stance. Um, but you know, it's nice to see figures of this kind that allow you to do such things and you, know, you can incorporate them into your own stories and change their backstories as you will, as I did as a kid. Um, I've been building those kind of scenarios too much with my action figure toys, but I do like on this show um, to have the outlet to play with them as much as I can. So we're going to put them on as it comes with the Star Trek logo stand, you know, their insignia, familiar image. Um, go ahead and put them on the stand and have them stand regal-like. This is a man of culture. You can tell this is a man of intelligence, poise, if you will. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, we're going to go ahead and open up his... Gotta get the trusty, nasty, uh, trusty uh, book knife. And, uh, oh boy, these are in there. Just gonna have to get rough with it. <laughs> okay. So, as it turns out, our friend, uh, Belay, Bell, Bella, whatever it's gonna be, is a bit of a drinker. He likes to uh, partake, you know. Um, we've got a fanciful bottle of booze here. Some cocktail of some sort. Uh, small glass full of that as well. Um, another snifter, if you will, of some other lascivious libation. What were you up to, Belay? What are you into? A um, couple more glasses of these, you know, like long kind of 
drinking glasses. Very classy, very classy. I think, and then, yeah. You gotta watch this episode. It seems to be about race and drinking. <laughs> they put an emphasis on all his cocktails and mixers. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this glass in his hand and look at, uh, he's probably making a really good point right now about the interrelationships of intergalactic species and whatnot. <laughs> I like to think he has these bottles close to him at all times. Uh, but overall, man, this is an awesome figure. This was gifted to me by a friend that uh, he found at a flea market. You know, like if I saw this out, I would probably never bought it. Um, I'm a bigger fan of the next generation than I am of the original series, but. Um, I'm, I am pretty glad and grateful that, they, that he bought me this figure because he's awesome actually. I think this is a really great <laughs> figure. I'd love to find more Star Trek figures in this kind of series. Hopefully they have some next generation figures. I'd love to pick up a Data or a Picard or man, any of that cast really. Um, but until then I'll have to be satisfied with my man about town here, Belay. <laughs> I don't know what else much to, I don't know what else I can say other than I dig it. I'm very happy to welcome you to the hot package fray. Uh, my friend Belay from the original series Star Trek. I'm Stefan from the Superhouse Podcast. Thank you for watching this entry. Do check out some of the other videos in the series and stick with me. I got more coming. Thank you for watching. <laughs>